What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today I'm here to bring you guys more Battlefield 1. And today we're going to be talking about how the Battlefield 1 weapons are probably the worst weapons of all time. But don't get me wrong, people. I'm not saying, you know, this. Actually, a lot of people on the internet, like on some random ass Facebook pages and also on uh, several trailers of Battlefield 1, are saying this. I'm not saying it, but I will tell you guys my opinion about this whole situation. But before we get into this main topic, I would like to talk about the gameplay in the background. Of course, it's not one of my best gameplays so far. You know, I went 47 and 19. Like, who the fuck does that and post it up on, on YouTube, you know? Uh, but I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to get kills in this map. As you can see in the background, I'm just not even letting go of the shooting button. And I'm racking up crazy amount of kills. So as you can see... This map, the Argon Forest, is pretty much of a beastie map. If you got the LMGs, if you got the right teammates also to like give you ammo and health and all that stuff, you should be able to become a beast in this map and just rack up them kills like crazy. Uh, so far, my highest amount of kills, of course, is the one where I went 61 kills, and that's, that's my highest one so far. My second highest is like around the 50s, and and this one, the 47, like a rank number 10. So I have been playing this map several times, and I'm telling you, it's a beast ass map, and I'm planning to actually rent a server. And make an Argon Forest 24/7. So I'll try to advertise that like later on in videos if you know they let us know when we can rent servers and stuff. So uh, and by the way, I'm still using the same weapon, the Lewis Gun Suppressed, and it's a beast ass gun as I told you guys so many times. It's a great gun, good amount of range. Uh, you have to tap it every shoot from long range, and there's a lot of good examples in this whole gameplay, guys. I'll probably do a guide on how to use this weapon because I know a lot of people are watching these gameplays and they're thinking like how the hell do you even use this fucking weapon because you know the recoil is terrible you know you gotta you gotta do something to like actually stabilize the recoil in order for you to like adjust and you know take out enemies with no problem so anyways now moving on to the main topic about battlefield one weapons are they the worst set of all time from all the battlefields battlefront uh from uh battlefield 2 battlefield 3 battlefield 4 battlefield 1946 or whatever you know from all the battlefields are these set of weapons the worst ones of all time um i've been reading facebook pages i've been reading i've been reading you know common sections of youtube videos and they are all saying that the battlefield one weapons suck and that's why they won't buy it and i understand where they come from because you know most of these people are call of duty fanboys i mean i play call of duty and i'm going over here and i'm still owning, i'm still owning people out there i'm wrecking and what people got to understand about this game yes you know i want to say my opinion real quick yes the weapons feel kind of sucky but i understand what this game is trying to do they're trying to give you a little bit of a challenge you know on how to control these weapons because none of the weapons have good recoil maybe there's like one out there but like i don't even know the name of it but I'm just gonna say all the weapons are not that good, but it's not it's not that uh you know th that big of a deal that's gonna ruin the whole game experience. You see, that's a lot of people. Well, that's what a lot of people worry about. Like they have a feeling that uh you know the weapons ruin the game experience because they suck or something like that. Like they it doesn't it, it really doesn't because it, you know the genre of this game is World War One and the maps look great. It's something refreshing. You get new weapons. You're not using modern weapons like from the rest of the games like Battlefield Three, Battlefield Four, Call of Duties. I'm telling you, it's refreshing. Jump over to the game, use the weapons, learn how to use them, l learn the, the shooting patterns. And that's another problem. A lot of people do not want to learn. And people just want to grab the weapon and be like, oh, okay, I'm a fucking wreck. And then they figure out like, oh, I can't do it because all the weapon sucks because they have higher recoil. Like, bro, learn the fucking the shooting pattern. I mean, most of the time in Call of Duty, most of the time I use weapons that big YouTubers haven't even reported on. Like, for example, the MP7 on Black Ops 2. Nobody was using that fucking gun until everything got nerfed and they're like oh the mp7 is the best gun of the fucking game like what the fuck is wrong with you i've been using this gun like forever because i learned the shooting patterns i learned how to use it you see and i was ahead of the game too because i was getting like around 50 to 60 kills because nobody know how to counter it so if you learn how to use the weapons that people haven't used yet and also people haven't even learned yet you should be able to do great in this game and that's another thing that's the, that's another reason why i'm doing great in this game because people do not want to take the time to learn the shooting patterns do not want to take the time how to control the recoil of each gun like if you don't take your time of course you're going to be doing terrible that's why i do great in every single fps game that i touch because i learned the weapon patterns i learned how they work and all that stuff if you don't take your time of course the game is going to be sucky for you so 
In my opinion, I think the weapons are sucky, but it's not enough to ruin their game experience. But it gives you a challenge because with no challenge, of course, it's going to be saying this weapon, this this game is just so simplistic. It's just so simple. It doesn't give you any kind of challenge because the weapons don't have recoil. And guess what game did that? Battlefront. You jump over to Battlefront and shoot from hip fire. You can shoot somebody down from you know, across the fucking map. If that game you know, would it come to Battlefield 1, it would have ruined the whole game experience because there was no challenge. So that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the topic. I'll try to bring up more topics for you guys because uh, this is just ridiculous, to be honest. This shouldn't have never happened. So that is it. Make sure you subscribe for more because there's going to be more Battlefield 1 gameplays coming up.